welcome to Youth Encounter 2022. And uh, as we encounter the Lord, nations of the world also need to encounter the Lord. So before I begin, I just want to give, you know, a quick backstory. How this went down in choosing this country. Um, so I was told, letter U, and I was like, okay, you only know two countries that are with you. But then the Lord was like, Dubai. And I'm like, but God, Dubai is D. And so I went to Google, and it's actually the United Arab Emirates. So it's actually you. So I, okay, so what should I pray for? And he directed me to look at the interesting facts. So I did, and when I started to look at it, and then he started to give me, you know, the download, and so this morning is a little bit different. And why it's a little bit different is that UAE, as they're called, they celebrate independence on December 2, or encounter started on December 2. So this season is an encounter for UAE. And as we have been focusing on the power and the authority of the word of God, we have learned that kings rule by decree. And this morning, we're going to send out some decrees over the United Arab Emirates. What's unique about these declarations is that each will target an interesting fact about this country. So we're going to align what they're known for with what the word of God says. So that they will come into every spiritual blessing that the Lord has for them. So I'm just going to give... Not the interesting facts yet, just a general overview, and then we'll get into to that. So the United Arab Emirates, also known as UAE, are located in the Middle East. The country comprises of seven, seven emirates, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Fujairah, Ajman, Ras Al Khaimah, and Om Al Kuwain. The population is about 10 million people. The majority of these people, however, are foreigners and expatriates. So only about 12% of the population actually are natives. They were born there. So the capital city is Abu Dhabi. Their main language is Arabic. They have a 94% literacy rate, and they are 76% Muslims and 9% Christians. Other religions, such as Hindu and Buddhism, make up the remaining 15%. Their state religion is Islam. The government is tolerant towards people practicing other faiths. However, they strongly resist the spreading of other religions, which means they strongly resist the spreading of the gospel. They are very rich in gas and oil. We know, everybody knows Dubai. You want God to buy, you know? Rich. And uh, so, all right. Now I'm going to share the interesting facts. And after each fact, I'm going to declare the word of God, and I want everyone to come in agreement with the declaration. All right, so go say amen. Agreement. So the first one, as I mentioned before, the UAE is comprised of seven different emirates. And we know that the number seven represents fullness or completeness or perfection. So we are declaring that UAE will be a nation of completeness. We declare Psalms 138 verse 8 over UAE. The Lord will accomplish that which concerns UAE. His unwavering loving kindness endures forever towards them, and he will not abandon them. And we say, Amen. Right. Second fact. The country's form of government is an absolute monarchy. Each emirate of the UAE is ruled by a separate royal family. UAE will be a nation under the kingdom of God authority. We declare Romans 13 verse 1. Every person living in UAE will be subject to the governing authority of Jesus Christ our Lord. The monarchy will be submitted and surrendered to God. Amen. Thirdly, and this one kind of hold me a little bit. There are no permanent rivers in UAE. This means they do not have a natural source of fresh water. So we are declaring that UAE will no longer lack the living water. We declare that they will, there will be a revival. As they believe in Jesus, 
rivers of living water will flow continually. We declare Isaiah 44 verse 3 that God will pour out water on them as they thirst. Streams will be on dry ground and the Holy Spirit will be poured out on their children and God's blessing will be poured out on their descendants in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Fourthly, the Arabian oryx is the country's national animal. What's unique about this animal is that it was once declared extinct in the wild. And it is the first species to ever be successfully reintroduced into its original habitat. So we are declaring that UAE will return to its original place in the kingdom of God and that the name of Jesus will not be extinct. We declare that foreigners that come to inhabit their land will be children of God and they will bring the love and word of God with them. We declare that God will make them alive who were dead in trespasses and sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. The UAE is created the world's first government ministry for artificial intelligence. They're very big on robotics. And we are declaring that the government of UAE will rely on the intelligence of God and not of man. We are declaring Proverbs 19 verse 20, that as the government listens to the counsel of the word of God, they will receive wisdom, wisdom that will be with them to the end of their days. Amen. Dubai has the world's long longest driverless metro system. So you just go on there, ain't no driver, and you go where you're going. But we're declaring that they will be steered by the word of God and in the ways of God. We declare Psalms 37 verse 23. The steps of every Emirati will be ordered by the Lord. We declare that the Lord will be UAE's guide always. And all their needs will be satisfied according to Isaiah 58 11. In Jesus name. The world's tallest building is located in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa. But we are declaring that UAE will ascend the mountain of the Lord. We declare that the people of UAE will have clean hands and a pure heart. They will lay aside every idol and turn from every false god to seek your holy place, O Lord. We declare that every Emirati will soar. They will be submitted and surrendered to your counsel. They will operate in your integrity. They will achieve high levels of excellence and they will have a repentant posture always in Jesus' name. And lastly, <laughs> The people in Dubai, especially, they are prosecuted and jailed for public displays of affection. We are declaring that there will be a public display of the love of God in UAE. We declare that 1 John 4 will come the reality in UAE. They will know love. They will know God. They will rely on the love of God. They will live in love and live in God as God lives in them. They will experience a love that has no fear. So Lord, we thank you that as we have declared your word, mighty God, it has been sent out to accomplish, Lord God, what it has been said. Father, we thank you that every person in UAE will encounter you, Lord God, in a new way going into 2023. We thank you, Lord God, that they will be known for you, Father, the riches that are in your kingdom, mighty God. Father, we thank you that your word will accomplish and we give you all the glory and all the praise for it is done, it is well, it is finished in UAE. In Jesus' name, amen.